Welcome to, the, to this video. In this video, I'm going to look at uh, a paper of uh, English language which was prepared by Examination Council of Zambia for examination uh, school certificate ordinary level. Uh, so this is the paper I'm going to uh, revise with you viewers. If you haven't subscribed to our YouTube channel, I invite you to subscribe to our YouTube channel and I also invite you to share the video. Let's try to share with uh, many people as possible. Uh, this is the paper that was written by internal uh, students, the grade 12s that were writing um, uh, for the end of the year examination, that is grade 12. So this is paper 2, English language paper 2. It was written on 10th November 2021. So I'm not going to go through the instructions. I'm sure there are some videos where I went through the instructions. So the additional materials that you need here is uh, cadence to answer on the question paper. So there is nothing you, go, you, need, you need. So there is no additional materials required. So you don't need any additional materials to uh, answer this question paper and this question paper is going to take you two hours so you need to make sure that within two hours you finish answering this question paper it carries 60 marks okay so now let's go to um, the questions i'm going to skip the instructions i'm sure i'm very confident with the instructions as you can see there are just few uh, instructions that you need to follow or maybe let me just go through them very fast Okay, so the first instruction is you write your center number and your examination number on every page of the uh, question paper. Number two, there are three questions in this uh, paper. Answer all the questions. So there are three questions you need to answer all. There is no question that you leave out. Number three is write your answers in the space provided on the question paper. Number four is do not start writing until you are told to do so. I've seen some certain students who tend to be more intelligent than the others. They want to start. I don't know if it's panic. I don't know if it's, they are just anxious. Please do not start writing until you are told. So information for the content is dictionaries and other reference materials are not allowed in the in the examination room so you don't have to go with anything dictionary or what you don't all you need to do is go with your head and uh, the pen that you need to use for writing so you make sure you carry enough pens that you don't um they don't drill drill your progress okay the second one is cell phones and other electronic uh, devices are not allowed in an examination room. So please don't go with a cell phone in an examination room. Some people fail the exams before they even go and write the exam. Hey students, just be confident. Failing is part of our life. So if you fail, the problem is if you don't get positive lessons from the failing, that's where the problem comes in. So if you fail, you just get positive um, lessons from it and forge ahead. Okay? Failing an exam doesn't make you to be dull or incapable. So it just when you fail, just learn some few lessons from there and then attempt the next time. So don't fear to fail an exam to an extent that you engage into more practices. Okay. Uh, so what you need to do is uh, for, for examiners use only. So the year you don't write anything. They will just be, this section will be used by examiners. Okay. So make sure you don't do anything with this. Okay. Once I've done this, the next thing we need to do is um, you go to, to the questions. So we have got questions here. Then we are starting with question one, which is structure. It has got 20 marks. So answer both section one and two. Okay. So vocabulary, that is 10 marks. Okay. There are 20 marks. So for vocabulary now, we are going to, when you answer all the questions in the in this section, you are going to get 10 marks. Okay. Remember, there are 20 questions. That means every correct answer will attract half mark. Okay. From the given three options, choose the one that completes the sentence correctly. Write your answers on the space provided. Ensure that your answers are spelled correctly. Okay, so that's the other thing you need to pay attention to. For example, uh, don't dash a lot of time on first part of the examination. Oh, they're even giving a good advice. Yeah, don't waste. So the 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 the, the, the 
options here is west 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 okay so now here they are telling us that we don't spend a lot of time on the first part of our examination okay so that means they are telling us not to waste time okay so which one is well spelled so when you look at this waste the first one the first waste this one is for the waste okay that is the middle section of a human being here the waste here okay where we our we, we tie our belts if you are a gentleman where they belt go around when you wear a belt the, there the waist that is the first one then this one is uh waist like uh trying to misuse to waste to misuse okay so if you they're telling us not to misuse time on the first section okay that is waste and this one is um This one is uh, the superlative of bad. The superlative of bad. When uh, you, you talk about how bad something it is, we can even say the last degree of being bad, waste. Okay. All right. Okay. Now, so even so, the correct answer here is this one: not to misuse time. Okay. Now let's go to the actual questions so i've explained on those words this is revision i'm trying to do the best i can using this revision okay now we come to question one okay which is um they stayed in the dash for two days okay so that we want to uh, uh find the correct sparing for desert okay so this is desert and this is desert and this is desert so uh, the correct answer is this one desert okay let me just write it okay so it is desert desert sorry desert that's the correct answer with a single uh t there for desert please you can ask um sorry so what have i done okay desert okay that's a correct spelling remember they are there we have been told that we make sure i write the correct spelling so this is the correct spelling for mm, uh, desert, uh, desert they stayed in the desert for two days okay desert this is for basically for desert here uh food related to food i'm sure those who are doing home economics though they can explain well on this way desert okay um go to question number two he was told to get the garden dash in order to water the flowers okay so we have got horse 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 okay so which one is the correct spelling so uh, this one we know it it's an animal which is called a horse okay it's an animal a uh, domestic animal that most people use for when they are riding a horse this one um if i'm not mistaken horse meaning your voice is not okay it's if you have a horsey voice it's something like um it's not coming clearly something like that eh? a horsey voice i don't know how i can describe it and i don't want to get anyone offended i'm not trying to i'm just trying to explain the word horse something like that okay so the correct answer for the horse pipe which we usually call refer to as horse pipe this is the one which is here which is horse okay all right so these are proposed uh, answers and explanations uh, easy learning z mathematics will be great to also get some views in you know we can't grow if we don't get other views uh, i'm i'm here trying to teach and i should be also open to learn from others no one is a master in everything so what i know maybe it's not it's not correct but someone knows something correct but these are the correct answers i'm writing believe you me that these answers i'm writing here now are correct okay so now we come to question number three okay question number three is um question number three is uh he was the dash apparent to the throne okay so here we've got words here and here here and this one is here okay this one we know it uh this is the the hair we have in our heads right eh? 
the hair we have in our heads so if you um, my pronunciation of h is not clear please i do um, know that i have difficulties in pronouncing uh, ways with h but this is the hair we have i'll try to to, to, to try and pronounce it properly but this is the word hair meaning the hair we have in our heads okay then uh, this one is an animal air this is an animal air okay so the correct answer here is C uh, this one here on the middle okay so I'm going to type that one there okay so this is the air so the air the one who is supposed to be a leader after someone dies here to the throne is the heir to the throne okay now we come to <clears throat> uh, number four joan was given a piece of dash by her parents so we have got advice advice advising so um first of all let me explain this one is a verb okay this one is a verb and this one is a noun so the mother gave this person an advice which is a a, a noun it's more it's like they gave him something so uh, here what you will be correct is a noun which is advice it was given a piece of advice okay he was given a piece of advice okay a piece of advice so the correct answer is this one this one is a noun that is a noun this one yeah, is a noun okay we come to question number five the thief who was dash was finally caught by the police okay so the correct answer there is he uh, we can see that we have got elusive, elusive, elusive. Here we are dealing with spelling. So the correct spelling is this one here. Elusive. Okay. So that's the correct and spelling. So elusive. All right. So please, if you have got questions, you can still ask in the comment section. We'll be glad to respond to you. Now we go to question number six. The doctor gave her a dash for influenza. Okay, a doctor gave her a dash for influenza. So the correct answer is uh, when you talk about job, this is a work related thing or something to be done. Um, jot, this is a, a writing, something like that, if I'm not mistaken. Yeah, jotting points, writing points. So this is the spelling for uh, jotting like something like writing if you am not if you're mistaken you can still help me uh if you have mistaken the spelling okay so the correct answer is jab so when you're dealing with the injection we jab uh, an injection so that's what we're going to say um jab okay he was given a jab for influenza okay all right so we come to the coach told the players to make a deep breath. So which one is the correct? Um, this one is, is, is for, let me just, this one is for when you're dealing with the measurements or sides of uh, polygons or, yeah, this is the breath, the side of something. Then this one, the problem is see, the sparing. So the correct answer is, yeah, breath yours. The prayers were told to take a deep breath or breathe. Okay, so that's the correct answer. Sorry. Okay, that's the correct answer. Breath. Okay. Okay, we come to uh, the police managed to dash the truth from the patient okay the police managed to dash um the truth from the patient the police managed to dash the to manage to dash the truth from the patient so when you talk about this when we talk about illicit uh, this one is uh, uh, illicit what can i how can i define illicit drugs like 
illegal drug something like that okay then when we talk about illiterate this is not being literate so it's not being able to read and write then elicit the correct one to like to get information elicit uh, the truth so you see this one here elicit so that is the correct word so we are going to write that word here which is elicit okay elicit the truth so it like getting okay oh whatever I, whatever i written here please elicit not illicit okay elicit very good okay we go to the next question uh -huh. we go to the next question the next question is she was regarded as an dash freedom fighter so uh, which one is correct dash mm, fighter so the correct spelling for imminent is or imminent yes imminent and some they say imminent so imminent is this one here okay so the correct answer is uh, this one which is imminent okay okay all right okay Unless if you have got questions, please do as wise ask in the comment section. Let's go to question number 10. Question number 10 is the referee used the prayers to demonstrate dash play. Okay, so when we talk about uh, the correct answer for fair, the correct spelling for fair, um, this is fair. Uh, I don't know, fair like something that is a bit spread. I'm talking about this fair. Right? So I don't know, ladies, you can come in here, Freya, something like Freya, something that is like, it is spread, something like that, in that line. Okay, then fair, this is uh, what you pay for your, like bus fare, what you pay for when you are traveling, that is, uh, yeah, and like something that is being charged for a certain uh, uh, service somehow sometimes it, it is generalized but mostly it is when you are dealing with movements the money you pay for your movement like bus fare okay something like that um so the correct spelling for being fair being like i uh, try to be to 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 not treat somebody uh badly to some like you don't uh, you treat other people now you just try to be fair to be equal in treatment so we, when we say uh, the referee the used the players to demonstrate fair play so the correct spelling is in, that one fair play so that is the correct spelling which is in, fair play okay i'm trying my best to explain exactly the meaning of the words if you are lagging behind please will be great that you can write to us in the comment section so that we can come back to you and help okay we come to question number 11 the striker made a dash period to scoring the ball okay so um, here is a striker made a dash period to scoring the ball so we have got faint and faint and faint okay so here we only talk about this word faint is something like uh, you search or look for yourself why right? like you start fending for yourself like you, you don't have anyone to support you so you start like uh, you faint for food on your own something like that if i'm not mistaken with this word faint okay then faint this is now you do not have you become semi-conscious you are not fully conscious you become semi-conscious even sometimes when people faint they definitely become unconscious they don't even um recognize what is happening okay sometimes they can faint and then you have that so here the correct answer is this one here faint okay That's the correct answer. The striker made a faint period to scoring the ball. Okay, we come to 12. The children's life were at dash as there was no one to look after them. Okay, so the children's lives were, so we start with this um, stick. Hi. Right? So this one, 
stick it has got two meanings one uh, uh, one to stick is like to attach okay stick is to uh, like something attached and the other one is a noun um, a stick like a small branch you get the small yeah branch you get from a tree that is a stick as well it can be dry or flesh okay something like that then stick here some we call it stake i don't know someone can talk about that before okay because that one is okay you have a lot of meanings now uh, when we're talking about the children's life we're at stake so this is the word stake okay so that's a correct spelling the the the, the children's life were at stake so meaning um the lives of the children were of the sorry the life of the children not children's the life of the children were at stake so these the life of the children were the one on the line okay so the correct answer is stake this one okay please um you can still comment your answers in the comment section otherwise those are the correct answers we go to the next question okay the next question which is 13 the head of state took a salute during the dash passed on international women's day at hilo stadium okay the head of state so what did um the head of state do he saluted during the what so uh here i've got march okay so mm, these ones again march this is the uh this is when you are talking about uncountable things and then we use march to mean many i to mean many i okay so uh, that is the one which means many there are a lot of uh -huh, something like that then this one march it was also there's also a lot of meaning okay it is a noun as well as um yeah let me just say it's a noun which can be used in different categories football match um, match stick something like that okay when you're talking about matches and then this is the match the way you move uh you you swing hands and legs they are like that you are matching uh basically this the way they modify the walking when they're matching and uh, you like the way cadets do or like the way the soldiers do that is matching okay so uh during the match so that is the match when you talk about match past uh, there is a way people walk uh, around more special during the celebrations which is independence though you may arrange your match pass where people will move from point a to point b something like that so the correct answer is this one match okay okay this is usually done like uh, everybody's swimming the hands at the same time moving at the same time at the same pace okay just like that okay we go to question number 14 please if there are some questions i'll be here to respond to them without uh jealous okay and even if the point the the contribution is negative trust me trust me uh we are easy learning is consist of a team that doesn't get offended uh, it's here to teach and also to learn we are here to teach and to learn so it's basically sharing ideas so when you are sharing it shouldn't be always one way you just give out we also receive uh, knowledge okay because our intention is to see ourselves grow bigger so if you tell us if you you advise us that means you have given us uh, an immense support okay so we are we'll be very grateful if you have got a different um uh answer or opinion on the answers okay we go to question number 14 it was established that many members of the community died of um dash poisoning okay so we when we look at this one lead uh this is like uh in terms of reading like being a leader as you are doing something maybe you are in forefront you are moving ahead of others you are reading so you read in the past tense now it happened 
you know, some time back, some seconds back, you, you are the one who was showing the way. Then that is, you can say, Reagan. Okay. Then we have this. Let me talk about this lead. Okay. This lead is the cover for the bow, port, anything that is used to cover something. More especially if it's a container, that the read the, the top part of that which you put on top of something, that's a read. But this one, um, a read, this one is also, has got also many meanings. This, this is also a noun and also a verb. When you are reading people, in the present like this the present tense of leading uh, guiding people this one is also but for also it is also a name for a mineral okay so the correct answer is the same one here read okay so read by what read poisoning what am i trying to say okay read poison so people uh, it was established that many members of the community died of read poisoning okay so before we go in here let me read, read this okay we go to question number 15 they all gave and dash to the proposal okay so they all gave dash to the proposal Okay, so the way we are trying to ch to 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 look at is in, um accent. Okay, so when you look at this one, uh, it's accent. Okay, it's accent like uh, how your voice comes out. Okay, <clears throat> um, first of all, let me say like sometimes when I'm speaking. Uh, there is something like that comes my english comes like tonga tonga sometimes uh, that is because my accent have got accent of uh tonga -sha. i've been in tonga for so many and even if i'm a bemba when i meet someone talking to someone in bemba they always say ah but you sound like you are not speaking uh properly so something like that so the accent is something like okay for instance if you you see Russians they are speaking even if it's in english you are able to say this one is a Russian. uh you, just the accent they itself the way they are coming out okay so the accent is just the way you speak even if you are speaking the way you, you speak okay you'll be tell you will be able to see that there is an accent of like that okay, so when i talk about accent is something like in terms of language uh, so the correct answer here is in, this one ascent okay so ascent like uh, give a, cons a consent to to the proposal okay you give the consent to the proposal okay we come to question number 16 the expert managed to dash the boom and the situation came back to normal okay so uh when there is a bomb they will call people who are specialized in dealing with bombs so the we are talking about um here when you, you neutralize the bomb we say you diffuse the bomb okay so when you talk about diffuse um this one this one diffuse is moving from lower concentration to from higher concentration to lower concentration. When we talk about uh, defeat, this is losing. Eh? If you have you, you have been defeated, that means you have lost. If you defeat someone, that means you have won the battle, whatever you, you are trying to win uh, against that person. You have defeated him. You have won when you competed in something or when you did something, even if it wasn't a competition. For instance, you are fighting and you beat your friend. That means you have defeated him. Okay. And then to diffuse, to to neutralize the bomb, we use this word here, diffuse. Okay. Please, uh, I know... Uh, there are some people can have better explanations who, who would love to also uh, learn from you so we could we can also be happy to uh, get your your explanations in the comment section where you feel we didn't i didn't 
explained properly you can still uh, comment in the comment section please let's get interacted uh, down in the comments okay we go to question number 17 they leached dash of the mountain okay so they leached dash on of the mountain so we have got the word peak this one is common peak you pick something from uh, maybe on the, from the ground or from the floor you pick something and sometimes we use this one to say um like you go and get someone like go and pick the children from school you like going to get the children from the school for sure that is not like you go and pick them from the ground and you, something like that so sometimes that's the way to pick when you say well, i'm going to pick the children this is the one we use if you say i've picked a pencil from the floor that's the word we use as well pick i don't know if it's, this is the same spelling for the pick where you kiss somebody on the chin i don't know okay uh, if you if you if you, that is the one let us know in the comment section please would love to know the the one that which is referred to as um pick okay the correct answer is peak this is like the highest point of something okay so like if you say um sometimes this word is used like um if you are misbehaving and someone tells you uh uh I have reached in my peak of tolerance. That means I've tolerated you. I've tolerated you enough. There is no time to tolerate you again. There is no room for me to tolerate you. I think uh, you, your behavior detests me to the maximum. There is nothing I can do now. I have to take an action. Some people they use uh, it has reached the peak. So, like he just peak is the fullest or the highest point that uh, anything can go or one can tolerate okay all right if we see our uh, if you see the 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 sound system volume has reached the peak that means uh, you have adjusted the volume to the highest point there is no way you can so if it's a knob the knob has reached the uh, the last point okay we come to question number 19 the people on the island took refuge in an so we have got um here we are looking for the word ark so we have got this ark this one when you talk about uh, this one is a uh, ark is something like uh like this a semi like oh i don't know if you can say a semi something like this ark something like mm -hmm, it's, a, it's also a hack like when you are doing the um, construction in mathematics uh, we talk about you we usually talk about this word arc okay that is the arc like something like that okay and uh, that's the arc now when you talk about this i'll skip this one when you talk about this one acre now this one is is when like uh, my father of got uh, 12 acre something like that so uh, that is uh, like that, eh? like uh, when you're talking about uh, the land size, something like that. Okay, so I don't know if there is another meaning for this acre. You can still comment in the comment section and this one. Arc. Okay, so the correct answer is uh, this one here on the middle. Okay, so that is the correct answer. And I've realized that I've skipped 18. Let me just write uh, this answer then i go back to 18 sorry for that i didn't see that i've skipped 18 okay we come to question number 18 please i skipped 18 it is not healthy to eat dash meat okay so uh there is uh the, the way you are dealing with is law there is this law when we talk about this law we are talking about um the way things are arranged column and law okay so most law are those that cause um horizontally okay depending on yeah horizontally like this these are laws like this okay and these are columns okay like this okay so if you go in in a classroom if you see you look at the desks like this going this side like uh, group one group two group three these as you are going downwards these are columns then these are laws and that is the way to law there okay all right i hope you have understood and then we come to this law um your part the part the, the 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 function okay the function like this one this this is the one i'm talking about law 
uh, this one the part you law in something what you are doing the part that is being done by something or somebody and the law the importance the function the importance of something okay for instance what are, what are the what is the law of the eyes so the law of the eyes is to see okay so that you can say that is what law like the importance the function okay something like that then this one law here is the correct answer and that one is like in, when we talk about law is unprocessed okay so when we we talk about that law is like unprocessed something so anything that is not processed anything that is not processed uh, meat that is not cooked is slow meat um results that you get before they are processed they are put properly those are also low results they are not uh, maybe you, they are not well arranged they are just results on the paper that is also low anything that is not processed okay you buy mm, hood you want to make a chair it's not it's just the, the wood that is raw hood you haven't processed it anything that is not processed you see low okay it's raw something like that okay all right, they go to question number 20. That the attacker turned into a cat was a. Mm -hmm. All right, uh -huh. this one is it tends to be a, a truth. We have heard of these rumors. Eh? At in Copper Belt, when there was a period of gassing where we heard that, yeah, no, people are gassing, they are also spiritual. They caught someone and he turned into a cat, something like that. I don't know if I am the only one who heard about this, or we are men. If you also heard about it, you can still tell me in the comment section. Uh, so, question 20 is uh, that the attacker turned into a cat was a dash myth no this one is not correct this one myth i'll skip it and this one is not also correct the correct answer here it's like we're dealing with spellings here the correct spelling for myth is this one here okay so <coughs> how to spell the word myth is it? um m y t h myth like that okay if you have got questions you can Ask in the comment section and if you have some contribution to make remember easy learning is uh, open to suggestions and contribution we would love to hear from you and we also want to hear from you how the uh, this video is impacting your life okay let's go to the second question of uh, uh, this uh, section so let's go to section that section Okay, section two, we are going to deal with the transformations, that is delights. We are going to do the rewrites. We are going to be uh, what happens is we are going to be given question sentences and then they are uh, detect how we rewrite it. Um, they will start to, for us in, in sentence B, then we complete sent the sentence. And we should make sure that the sentences they have the similar meaning or they have the same meaning or close to same meaning so let's go through the instructions each of the following items oh sorry in each of the following items sentence a is complete but sentence b is incomplete complete sentence b each time making it as similar as possible to uh, as similar as possible in meaning to sentence a sentence b Oh, make sentence B one sentence, never two. Do not make any changes to the printed part of sentence B. Okay, so that's what they are telling us. Now, remember, uh, when you are given how the sentence B will start, you don't make changes. So they are telling us to start the sentence the way they have written it. Okay, so there's, for example, they have given us this. Human rights must be observed by everyone. Then we start with what. Then the sentence should read as follows. What must be observed by everyone are human rights. Okay. So I think we should all observe human rights. I right? So make sure that um, as we observe, as we want our human rights to be 
protected, respected, we should also respect our friends' human rights. Okay, no human rights. No one is above the law, and no one needs to be to feel um, bad, or anyone who needs to be like made maybe inferior by the way we we speak or we address that person. Remember, it's not the status of man or anything. First of all, we should respect everyone as a human being, just like that. Whether he's lame, whether he's poor, whether he's rich. First of all, before we add these ethnic values to the person or how they are, let's consider that that is a human being who has also feelings. I think by making other people or by pushing people down doesn't make us to go up. Okay? So we just have to respect that. There are some um, repercussions that comes with such attitude where you respect everyone. Some people with a poor background, poor judgment, they will tend to look at you as a fool. As if you are not normal. What, something like we said, it's not like that. Uh, it's because uh, you just appreciate everyone as a human being. So that's what we need to do. Okay? With that being said, let's go into question number one. Question number one is, um, the old lady was attended to only when the director intervened. Okay? The old lady was attended to only when the director intervened. So meaning, uh, this old lady was not attended to so the, until the director intervened so it's like the inter the the director could request uh, maybe in asked why is this lady not being attended to or maybe said ah uh, old lady i've seen you for i've seen you here for a long time what is happening then he queries the staffs what is happening to this lady she has been here for a long time why are you not attending to her then maybe they that's when they attend to her so how do we relate this one? Okay. So we relate it as not until the director intervened, the old lady. Sorry, what did I say? Not until the director intervened, the old lady. Not until, let me just see, write, write it properly. Not until the director, not until the director Okay, let me just deal with the, this one on the background. Okay. <clears throat> Not until the director inter vent. So when you write that intervent, then you say comma comma the odd ready the old lady was not attended to was not attended to okay so here what we are telling is similar to what is there uh, the old lady was not attended to okay so it's saying the old lady was attended to only when the director intervened so we are saying not until the director intervened comma the old lady was not attended 
attended to okay so uh, the staffs who were there they were not able to attend to the whole lead all along until the director uh, uh, intervened maybe looked into her issue okay that's when people started running around this is the most thing we see uh, this is the most scenarios that happens in most of institutions which is a sad thing so like you are getting educated please make sure that uh, you you respect people you treat them right you may end up wasting time to someone who holds the key to your future okay we don't know god has plans and these plans are different from ours do not disrespect anyone do not maltreat anyone later on it will uh, fire back to you so you make sure that you, uh, you treat everyone with respect and you consider everyone as you do your job remember we are coming to school you are students you are going to school to so that you learn on how to save people other people better okay so that you have got a a large understanding on how to deal with people so you make sure that uh, when you are doing something you should make sure that you do it well and you should always remember that you are not the most intelligent person or you didn't do anything that made you to become who you have become okay so you should make sure that the same privileges you have other people can have even better than what you have okay let's go to question number two Krada was both an actress and a soccer player okay so we can say we can say besides being besides being a uh, besides being an actress comma Clara Clara was a soccer a soccer player. Okay. Besides being an actress, Clara was a soccer player. Okay. So that is uh, the rewrite for that. If you have got questions, we can still get uh, your comments in the comment section. Okay, we come to question number three. I am sorry, I did not seek the doctor's advice. I am sorry, I did not seek the doctor's advice. So you're apologizing for not um, going to the doctor to advise you. Maybe uh, you are sick and then you didn't take time to You didn't take time to to go to the doctor for so that you have a checkup or and then you have maybe you get the advice of the doctor you have a doctor to say about your health so you'd write it using i wish i okay mm, so we can say i wish i okay i wish i I had sought I had sought the doctor I wish I had sought the the doctors whatever I written again there okay doctors advice advice i wish i had sought the doctor's advice okay so uh, you wish if you had gone to the doctor area to receive some advice uh, on your health issues maybe or anything else so that's how you write it i wish i had sought the doctor's advice okay um okay so sometimes uh, students may leave out ad okay they, they end up writing i wish 
I sought the doctor's advice. That is wrong. You had you have to put add. I wish I had sought the doctor's advice. We go to question number four. You need to stop dodging lessons. I eh? so you rewrite it. I would rather you stopped dodging lessons. I would rather you stopped. Okay, I would rather you stopped. You stopped dodging. You stopped dodging lessons. You stopped dodging lessons. Okay. Okay, what I'm forgetting now here in every sentence I'm writing is to put full stops. That is bad. Uh, thing to do so you make sure that you put four stops into all the okay here i'd put i'm sure you see i to put here okay we come to question number oh and here i wrote stopped what should be stopped okay question number five she will buy the books provided that you give her the money Okay, so so you write it using as long as okay. So she will buy the books provided you give provided that you give her money. She will buy the books provided that you give her money. So the correct answer when we use as long as so we say as long as as long as you give you give her money comma comma she will buy books she will buy books full stop Okay, so that's the correct uh, thing. Please uh, take it from me. These are the correct answers I'm writing. I don't know what has happened there. I thought I deleted the stopped. Okay, all right. So as long as you give her money, she will buy books. That's the. She will buy the books i don't know why uh, the the is going to buy the books okay as long as you give her money she will buy the books i left it there okay all right now we go to question number six there are only 10 delights so we are on delight number six okay The one is you should not use bad language. So, how do we write it by starting with you should avoid? So, you should avoid. So, you should avoid. We change the present tense into continuous tense, which is you should avoid using bad language. You should avoid using bad language okay you should avoid using bad language that is the uh, this way now it's correct oh it's not correct because i haven't put the full stop now i've made it correct okay we go to question number seven as charity worked harder she made more money okay so We write it with the, the other. Okay. So we say the other, the other, Charlie worked, worked, comma, comma, the moon money 
she made okay so it's like it's a proportional she works harder she makes more money and this is how life is hmm, but sometimes you work hard and then you make less okay so that is uh, unfortunate when th something like that happens so charlie worked harder uh the, he worked more harder and made more money so the harder she worked uh the harder charlie worked the more money she made okay this 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 life it's just uh, mathematical you work harder you make more okay we come to number eight Kitesa accidentally broke the glasses when he was setting the table. Okay. Um, Kitesa accidentally broke the glasses when he was setting the table. Okay. So we rewrite it using, we start with the second sentence. We're saying setting. Okay. So we say, Setting the table, setting the table, comma, Kitesa accidentally broke the glasses. So we say Kitesa, Kitesa accidentally broke the grasses broke the grasses okay so what i want you to do is you can still like um pause the video and try to to rewrite uh, the sentences the given sentences Okay, you write the given sentences, then you come and check what I will write. Okay, please remember to subscribe to our YouTube channel. Uh, on our YouTube channel, we are currently uh, fusing in different uh, subjects. As you can see, we are doing English now, but this was initially made just for mathematics. Uh, so you can join us and also check on our other videos that is mathematics videos um we are also dealing with science so basically this channel we are dealing with the um different subjects so uh, we have done computer studies you can check for the video for computer studies we have done science english and mathematics majority of the videos are for mathematics so we are trying we have seen a lot of uh, our followers who are telling us to say well, let's also try to touch other subjects and that's what we are doing please uh, we can hear for your comments uh, we can hear your views from the comment section to see how we are failing if we, our videos are really helping you we are going to be encouraged to do even more videos okay so now let's go to question number nine Question number nine, he didn't perform well, although he studied hard. Oh, I was just say, I was just talking about um, not always when you do, um, when you work hard, that the results will be proportional to what you have done. But sometimes they tend to be inversely proportional. You work harder, the performance goes down. Sometimes it's like that. However, I uh, will encourage everyone to do to study at uh, sometimes with the learners why you fail exams uh, you you do as if studying is washing plates even washing plates if you, you you are washing plates and you don't want you're not concentrating they don't do, they don't tend to be clean okay they won't be clean enough uh, same applies with his studying and just because you have seen your friend is studying for hours you want to go and study for hours when it comes to studying just understand yourself okay just understand your concentration span if you, you concentrate for 30 minutes start studying in intervals of 30 minutes 30 minutes you start for 30 minutes you refresh just start doing that don't be like somebody who start a lot for longer periods of time no i'm not discouraging people from studying i'm saying start the right way understand yourself that is the first concept go for studies try to understand yourself we, those who are in boarding schools have been in boarding schools 
you go to study just because it's prep time but you feel like not studying i'm not saying disobey school rules go for prep now make sure that if you can't concentrate studying get your mathematics book start solving mathematics just yourself you start mathematics on your own during prep don't concentrate in studying information subjects when you are you are not concentrating so try to do mathematics solve mathematics questions or if you when you are not feeling like studying you are going for prep go with the question papers for different subjects try to solve them try to, to find answers for those questions don't panic in studying and don't start because your friends are studying we have seen people we called bookworms in schools who can be uh, maybe it's on saturday they can go to the class studying they are alone no one is disturbing them they can go there from 10 hours midday they finish washing their clothes they come back during uh feeding time then again after feeding they still go to the classes and start studying uh, and then when you write the exams the test you see them failing the problem is they didn't understand themselves they just going there for the sake of studying they're not trying to show off they just had the wrong concept of studying they never understood themselves at the end of the day if you spend a lot of time studying when you, you your life your when your concentration time was as elapsed you end up frustrating yourself okay and confusing yourself so basically uh, just understand yourself how you study what time you need okay we come to question number nine we are saying he didn't perform well although he studied hard okay this is what i was explaining about you study hard but you don't uh, perform well okay so uh we can say he did not perform well so we can say he did he did he didn't he didn't perform well okay he didn't perform well and then he didn't perform well despite um, having studied hard despite having despite oh let me just join this so that it makes sense uh-huh so we see he didn't perform well despite 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 studying despite studying hard despite studying hard he didn't perform well despite studying hard so i'm going to i'm going to cancel this one this one okay forget about this one i've written it somewhere there so we forget about this despite okay it's not there okay so he did he didn't perform well despite studying hard okay we come to question number 10 chilinda and seven other students were expelled from the university last year hey what is sad news not special to the parents since the the children knew what they were doing okay so we um <clears throat> chilinda and seven other students were expelled from the university last year so we start chilinda okay chilinda with the Chilinda with let me type we start Chilinda with seven other 
students other students okay other students okay comma was now you don't say where now remember here it's more less like we, the, the the subject is uh chilinda okay so was he expelled from 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 the university from the uni vest from the university last year what last year okay he was expelled from university last year okay so that is how we rewrite that okay okay so that's how we write that unless if there are questions if there are no questions that's how you rewrite so <coughs> okay so now what we're going to do now is uh, i'm going to read through the entire passage and then later on i'm going to uh, answer the questions that are given at the end of the uh, the passage okay so my int for uh, doing a compression is one um, you need to to use these skills of skimming and scanning so skimming is when you read through the passage to just get the general uh, idea or, uh, about the passage so that is the first thing you need to do you need to skim through the passage so you read very fast for you to get the general idea for you to get what this uh, passage is all about so you read very fast just to get the general idea so for you to answer the questions properly you don't just need to read once so you need to read twice or thrice that means first you need to just skim and get the general idea here you're not looking at specific facts you're not looking for the details you're just reading so that you get the idea of the passage then once i've done that then you can go to uh, scanning so sometimes it's good that when you're scanning you can just get each passage each paragraph to get each paragraph to look for a specific uh, information or facts uh, so uh, sometimes as you are scanning or maybe after read after skimming the whole passage you can just go to the questions you read the question then they give you the they give you the the paragraph where the question is coming from then you can go back and scan the entire paragraph you go and read uh, for the entire um for the specific information okay so that's what you need to do before you start reading individual paragraphs you should first scheme and get the in the idea of the entire pa passage okay so let's go and read the entire passage okay so sorry that i haven't read the instruction already uh, let me start by going to the instruction then come to the passage so uh, this question two uh, uh, is compression and it has got 20 marks so what they're telling us to do is uh, is to read the following passage carefully and then answer the questions that follow that's what we need to do okay so let me start um reading so uh, this passage is about nature's farmers okay nature's farmers okay so uh, first thing i'll start by uh, skimming so follow me along so that we skim together and later on we're going to scan uh, paragraph by paragraph according to the requirement of the question okay so um let's start with paragraph one a chemical in the mucus of frogs has been found to kill certain strains of the influenza virus. The discovery could lead to the development of powerful antiviral drugs, but many frogs are at risk of extinction. 
Scientists have discovered a weapon in, in the fight against the influenza virus, a special chemical found in the mucus of South Indian frogs. A species of fungoid frog has the capacity to kill some strains of flu. This is as a result of a molecule known as uremine fittingly named after a tradition Indian whip like sweat. Researchers were able to test the compound on mice. This successfully managed to destroy a number of flu strains including the Mount Maligned H1N1 virus, also known as flu, which has previously proved resistant to other drug treatment. Frogs are immune to the influenza virus, however they are vulnerable to bacteria and fungal infections. This knowledge gives researchers a reason to believe that there are peptides on their skins which could help treat the HIV virus in humans. Despite the promising findings, it will take some time before effective medicine become available. The uremine molecule does not survive long in the human body, meaning researchers will need to find a way to make it more stable. This should be done before it can be used as a treatment option. Luckily, scientists are confident that they will eventually be able to chemically synthesize the compound for use in humans, meaning frogs are at risk, uh, frogs are at least safe from being harvested in large quantity, quantities for medical purposes. Okay, we go to paragraph 6. The new rediscovery does not provide a glimpse into future possibility of driving similar compounds from other frog species. These compounds are difficult to treat viruses such as uh, dengue, fever, and Zika. The Panamian gold frog is one of the main critically endangered species and may already be, be ex extinct in the world. The present breakthrough, therefore, offers an important incentive to protect frogs from to protect frogs species, which may hold the key to curing some of our most dangerous viruses and preventing global pandemic. Paragraph 7. According to the International Union for Conservation of Nature, IUCN, more amphibians are currently under threat than mammals and birds combined. This includes 466 critically endangered frog species. An estimate 165 amphibian species have died out in recent years with numbers on a down curve. Scientists may be lacing against the clock to isolate powerful diseases, disease fighting compounds which are waiting to be discovered. Okay, so that's how you read and you get the idea of what is um, this passage is all about okay so now i've gotten the idea that uh, this passage is about um looking for medicine or it's talking about um what is being done to look for medicine that can help to cure uh, viral diseases so um i've gotten the idea the general idea and it's also talking about uh, certain animals that are likely to be uh like uh, extincted uh, because of the because of using them for medical purposes. Okay, so now we can go to to ask answering questions. So, okay, now once we have read, let's go through what we are supposed to to do. So, 
Uh, <clears throat> let's come in. In each of the question one to nine, select the best answer from the four options provided. Indicate your answer by drawing a circle around the letter on the question paper. As in the example given below, if you change your mind, if you change your mind, cross out the initial choice very neatly, then circle your revised answer clearly. For question. 10 answer as instructed okay so basically this is the instruction they are giving you so if you came with a pencil it's very important that as you're answering the question you try first by circling with a pencil so that if you make some changes you can lab it and uh, circle the different one so you make sure that uh, you answer them you circle with a pencil but you should be very careful that you don't leave these answers circled by uh, using a pencil you can get a pen so that at least I've seen students who have who end up having three choices, trying three choices, then you keep on canceling. That becomes a bit dirty, and uh, that sometimes end up being uh, the markers uh, miss whether to allocate you with a mark or not. If they see a lot of uh, uh, like canceling and maybe the answer of given is also partially cancelled that becomes a challenge so at least if you go with a pencil and you circle remind you you should make sure that after answer question all the questions you make sure that you you you, you circle them immediately you are done there no doubt you go through you start circling them with a pen okay so for example what they are trying us to, they are telling us to do is like what is shown in this example the passage is about it so the correct answer is d which is um medicinal element of frogs okay so you circle it like the way it is circled here i'm not saying it should be uh, a neat circle but at least something that can be said this letter is circled you circle it like that okay let's go to the questions now since we know what to do and that's what i'm going to be doing okay so according to paragraph one the development of antiviral drugs from the mucus of a frog could lead to okay so we go back to paragraph one and scan it look for the certain information what is paragraph one or about okay so we go to paragraph one let's read together uh, <clears throat> A chemical in the mucus of frogs has been found to kill certain strains of the influenza virus. The discovery could lead to development of powerful antiviral drugs, but many frogs are at risk of, a, of extinction. Scientists have discovered a weapon in the fight against the influenza virus a special chemical found in the mucus of south africa south indian frogs not south african but south indian frogs okay so now we go to question number one so question number one we ask to find we have gone through that um so the question is according to paragraph one the development of antiviral drugs from the mucus of the of a frog could lead to so the correct answer is b okay correct answer is b increase in scientific discoveries of drugs okay we go to question number two in paragraph one the term weapon is used to mean something designed to a cure viral diseases b inflict pain c prevent diseases d spread viral diseases so now uh, what we need to do is we need to go back again we want to look for how weapon has been used then we come and tell here after we discover uh, what uh, how weapon is being used so we look for the word weapon it's here you can see this is the word weapon okay so scientists have discovered a weapon in the fight against the influenza virus so the weapon is to fight influenza virus so um here that's why they're saying is to fight the diseases okay so here what we can say now with our answer will be uh, in in paragraph one the term weapon is used to mean something designed to cure viral diseases that is the correct answer if we talk about inflicting pain like causing pain to who to be human beings that is not the purpose of um the word weapon in there that's not the, how the word weapon has been used there to illustrate that it wants to inflict pain no okay and prevent diseases 
yes uh, but what kind of diseases okay uh, spread viral diseases that is not true okay so this one is not to prevent in fact diseases to prevent is when uh, you're just avoiding to catch a disease uh, okay you do you take measures to avoid catching the diseases that is preventing but in paragraph one we read that it is going to be used to cure when someone has got a viral disease then it's going to be used to cure the viral diseases okay Let's come to question number three, which is the findings of the researchers in paragraph three states that flu is A, easy to treat, B, difficult to treat, C, fast in spreading, D, slow in spreading. So let's go to paragraph three and read for ourselves so we, we can get the general idea of the paragraph three okay so we come here it's let's read we are saying uh it's read as for it's written as follows researchers were able to test the compound on mouse this successfully managed to destroy a number of flu strains including the mount marine h1 n1 virus also known as flu which has previously proved resistant to other drug treatment okay so which means the researchers uh, they are saying that um they tested the compound on mouse and it was successful so when it comes to question number three is the finding of the researchers in paragraph three states that flu is um easy difficult to treat because all along they have been using different um medicines or drugs and it has all those medicines have failed so which means uh, when you fail that means it's difficult to to treat okay so if it has failed for the first time that means it is difficult to treat that's what they are telling us if it was if it was easier to treat then it could have been treated already you could have a a, a drug for it already so since it is uh, up to now haven't gotten any drug to treat it that means it's difficult to treat okay now we come to question number four uh, in paragraph four frogs are known for so we go to paragraph four before we go we read through the answers so frogs are known for curing the influenza virus spreading bacteria and fungal infections their ability to spread the influenza virus they are resistant to influenza virus even though i have i when i was skimming i got this idea let me go and confirm if d is the correct answer okay so i'm going to go to paragraph four which is frogs are immune to the influenza virus so just like reading here it is giving me that the answer d was correct however they are vulnerable to bacteria and fungal infection this knowledge gave researchers a reason to believe that there are um, peptides on their skins which could help treat the hiv virus in humans despite the promising findings it will take some time before infective medicine becomes available so the correct answer i'm sure is d if i'm not mistaken the, that's what i've gotten the correct answer is d on number four okay we go to number five so even in an exam after you skim the passage you still find um when you read this a sentence or a question you definitely uh, get the answer straight away but it's very important that you go and confirm if your answer is correct okay so go to question number five okay a conclusion can be drawn from paragraph four that okay a conclusion can be drawn from uh, paragraph four that uh, a cure for hiv has been discovered uh, even with the research, the HIV virus cannot be treated. C. The cure for HIV is likely to be found. D. The green-eyed frog has been found to treat HIV. So the correct answer for, for number five is C. If even before I go there, because I was reading the same paragraph, okay? Because uh, the cure for HIV is likely to be found. That's what uh, paragraph four is telling us. For us to confirm, like I was saying earlier on, let's go back and read through the uh, paragraph four. But if you are conversant like me, you should just go ahead and do uh, the next question. So here we are saying, uh, let me go. Okay, let's go to the last uh, sentence. Despite the, pro uh, no, it's here. This knowledge gave researchers a reason to believe that they are 
uh, peptides on their skins which could help treat the HIV virus in humans. Okay, so despite the promising uh, findings, it will take some time before if effective medicine becomes available. So that's why we have chosen uh, the answer C. Is it C? Yes, that the cure for HIV is likely to be found because uh, researchers believe that uh, the peptides on the skin of frogs can help to cure it. So that's why it is likely that um, uh, the HIV uh, drugs can be found. Okay, I hope this is helping. I'm taking time to explain. Uh, let's hope it's helping and if you have got queries, if you have got questions, there is some clarification you need us to, to make. Please write in the comment section. We'll be grateful to respond to you. Okay. Uh, the idea to chemically synthesize the compound found in the green-eyed frog for use in humans, in, in human, in humans stated in paragraph 5 will... Okay, the idea to chemically synthesize the compound found in the green-eyed frog for use in human stated in paragraph 5 will be A, bring about treatment for influenza, B, cause extinction to the green-eyed frog, C, excuse me, C, contribute large quantities of medicine, D, preserve the lives of the frogs. Okay. So that is question number six. So we're going to go to the paragraph, which is paragraph five. It's here. So let's go to paragraph five and read through the question and then uh, read through the passage. And then that is paragraph five, if I'm not mistaken. Yes, we go to paragraph five and we read through. Now here, what we're doing now, we're scanning. We scan, we look for specific information. So the Irimi molecule does not survive long in human body, meaning researchers will need to find a way to make it more stable. This should be done before it can be used as a treatment option. Luckily, scientists are confident that they will eventually be able to chemically synthesize the compound for use in humans, meaning frogs are at least safe from being harvested in large quantities for medical purpose. Okay, so here, what they're asking us now, let's go back to the question. The question is, the idea to chemically synthesize the compound found in, in the green hide frog for use in human stated in paragraph 5 will be, okay, let me just go a bit to paragraph 6. The new discovery does not provide a glimpse into the future possibility of uh, driving uh, similar uh, compounds from other frog species. These compounds are found to treat viruses such as um, uh, such as dengue, fever, and Zika. The Panamanian god frog is of the main critically endangered species and may already be extinct in the world. The present breakthrough therefore offers an important in incentive to protect frog species which may hold the key to uh, curing some of our most dangerous viruses, preventing global pandemic. Okay, so Okay, the human molecules does not survive long in the human body, meaning research will need to find a way to make it more stable. This should be done before it can be used as a treatment option. Luckily, scientists are confident that they will eventually be able to chemically synthesize the compound for use in humans, meaning frogs are at risk, at risk safe from being harvested in large quantities for medical purpose. Okay, so go to the question. So the question is, um, the idea is to chemically synthesize the compound found in the green-eyed frog for use in humans stated in paragraph 5 will be, so the reason, um, the idea to chemically synthesize the compound, the reason found, uh, found in the green-eyed frog for use in uh, human stated in paragraph 5 will be uh, will 
preserve the lives of frogs so the correct answer is this but well, let's try to go through a bring about treatment for influenza uh, cause extinction to the green-eyed frog uh, contribute contribute large uh, quantity of uh, medicine so here it is uh, the 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 reason to synthesize is to make uh, the medicine um, to preserve the lives of uh, frogs so that since we are told that um, it, it doesn't stay long in the body, then that means uh, the idea to synthesize is to make it that it, it stays longer in the body. Okay, so we go to question number seven, which is, it is important to protect the endangered frog species because it will lead to okay so it's important to to protect the endangered frog species because it will lead to a discovery of cure for viruses b increase in the number of frogs in forest c preserve of the endangered frog species c scientific discoveries on how to combine compounds and that is question number seven so question number seven the correct answer is it will lead to discovery of uh, a cure for viruses okay so that is the correct answer that's why we are preserving them because they are going to help us to discover the cure for viruses okay so that is the other purpose of um, uh, preserving them okay in paragraph 7, lacing against the crop means, okay, in paragraph 7, lacing against the crop means, okay, so we come to paragraph 7, let's see what is what is written there. According to the International Union for Conservation of Nature, more amphibians are currently under threat than mammals and uh, birds combined. This includes 466 critical endangered frog species, an estimate 165 amphibian species have died out in recent years with the numbers on a down curve. Scientists may less against the, the clock to isolate powerful disease um, fighting compounds which are waiting to be discovered okay so we want to find what they mean listening against the clock okay so um, let's go to the answers so uh, one is uh, it means competing with the clock b having enough time c having limited time d learning to catch time so here we can say that the correct answer for number eight is c having limited time so the time is not on their side so when you say i'm racing against the clock meaning uh we don't have enough time you are doing things um and the time is limited anytime you it, it you you may just say um be told that it's uh, time up so like you are writing an exam you are lacing against time so you have a limited time to do something so that's what it means okay we go to question number nine according to the passage there is need to save the frogs because they so uh, according to the passage there is need to save frogs because they are a layer species why are we trying to the question is asking us to, to give a reason why we are trying why okay the, is asking us uh, what we have read why are we supposed to um, uh, to preserve why are we supposed to uh, preserve um, frogs okay so why are we supposed to save frogs okay why don't we uh why is why don't we need to like uh, finish all kinds of frogs on earth why should we care when we see that certain uh types of frogs or frogs are getting uh finished on earth what should do why should we care why should we make sure that uh these species of frogs are available or all the species of frogs are available so a they are layer species B are vulnerable to diseases. Um, C can be used to treat HIV virus. D can save the lives of human beings. Okay, so meaning uh, these we have learned that uh, these frogs they don't only cure HIV. 
uh, virus uh, they can also cure influenza virus so uh, with those qualities with those characteristics that means they can save life okay so if we just pick c as a correct answer as if the frogs they have just function of um curing hiv virus meantime we've learned that they can also cure influenza so we can the correct answer will be d that they can save lives however uh, layer species uh, that is not the reason why we are conservating them we are trying to not uh, extinct them um, we we are even if they are layer species if they don't offer us a job i think uh, and the paragraph is not telling us that we we, we conserve them because of uh, the area species but uh, because they can save lives uh, and it hasn't told us that we should do preserve them because they are vulnerable to diseases no even if it say it has said that they are vulnerable to fungal and bacterial diseases we are also told that uh, they are also uh, resistant uh, to viral diseases so the correct answer is d because we want to use their characteristic of being um, able to fight viral diseases that we can use them to cure uh, viral diseases okay we got question number 10 question number 10 the question is from the underlined words in the passage find the word which means the same or nearly the same as the following words in phrases spell each word correctly so here uh, the spelling of words is uh, also important okay so um one we have a payment okay so what do we call a way that is um a way that means a payment let's go back to 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 the to the words that are underlined so we come here we have got strings strings doesn't mean uh, mm, payments um extinction no that is not payment that is extinction like uh, to be extinct extinction is just like getting finished okay then fittingly no successfully no that doesn't mean uh, it's not even related to infections no okay we come to endangered no uh, incentives okay so incentives is something that like a payment is incentives is the word that um says uh payment so if someone tells you to say we're going somewhere and there are some incentives that means there will be like something like getting paid okay for whatever you're going to do so incentives means payment so that's the one i'm going to write there down i'm going to write that word incentive on 10 one okay so that is incentives incentive that is payment so incentive that is payment okay okay we come to 10 2 which is um suitable manner suitable manner so in a suitable manner so let's go on those words that are underlined let's check for the word that has got similar meaning as a suitable manner okay so we go there okay so instinction no strains no fittingly yes this word fittingly uh it is more or less like um something that is when you say fittingly it's more or less like you're saying something that is suitable fittingly something that is just um meeting the same characteristics or the needs okay of something so if something is fitting or is the characteristic uh qualifying for something that is uh, we can say it's fitting so fitting that is the correct word that means that okay uh please if you have got questions you can ask in the comment section otherwise i'm also trying to uh, less against time okay so we say fittingly Okay, it's the correct word fittingly something that is suitable types of something types of something so we go back and check which word has the similar meaning as a uh, type of something so we go back there okay okay type of something we start from here we have got strains of influenza uh, extinction 
okay extinction and strains okay strains that is let me start with this word here strains this is the correct uh, answer strains it's like uh, okay it's like type strains of uh, influenza so what you're talking about here is we're talking about uh, uh, diseases that have uh, that are similar to influenza okay when we say strain so uh, strains means uh, types okay of something so we are going back where we are supposed to write the answer and put the correct word strains okay we go to question number four of ten seriously at risk of extinction seriously at risk of extinction so when we talk about extinction we're talking about getting finished so we go back and check for um, a weight that has this similar meaning as seriously at the risk of extinction so we go back okay let's go back together okay so we have got strains strains extinction okay fittingly successfully no successful no infections no okay we look for any okay endangered okay so the correct way that means uh instinction that is the one so you can even we can even somewhat say endangered and extinction uh synonyms in some ways they have got similar meaning somehow so the correct answer is endangered okay so when something is endangered we are talking about something that is uh, likely to be extincted okay all right so endangered is the correct answer so that's what i'm going to do now i'm going to go okay so we are going to write this word here endangered endangered okay so that is the correct answer endangered okay now, otherwise now we have come to the end of our revision uh take time to go through the summary which you can do uh because uh, i also demonstrate one time on how to do the summary but for today we end here thank you so much for watching it has been uh easy learning z mathematics the future is bright see you in the next video and god bless you